I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. Hello, everyone's everyone's. I am here for Manifest Season One, Episode Ten. Now we've been we've been gone for a little bit, of minute. You know, we didn't have our little winter break and all that stuff, but we back. And y'all, I love this show because like it's like a very suspenseful, you don't know who to trust kind of a situation. And I love shows like that. Like, I just do. So, we have all the people who were rescued. The, I'm going to call them the experiment people for right now because we have the passengers, which is everybody. Then we have the experiment people who are being experimented on. So, they are all like at the facility where that doctor was at. And I can't think of her name. right? I think it's Dr. Jace. We're going to call her Dr. Jace for right now until I remember her name. But, you know, the facility where Dr. Jace has gotten all the experiment people at. And all, everybody is in, like, a canatonic state, state, just, you know, just staring out the window, you know, just oblivious to everything that's going on because what they're in a canatonic state. So, old girl Autumn, who I was like, I don't like her from last episode because she is a mole working for the people who had to experiment people only so she can stay out of jail. I get it because like what would I do if I do, do I really want to help some people so I can stay out of jail even though I know they some low down dirty dogs and they kind of hurting people but I still don't like her right now but you know she's sitting there and just walking around and like everybody is just like it all at once just like synchronized it's like it looked like they're getting shocked so she goes over there to call Sanvi and they was like um it looks like they're still connected to the experiment so Sanvi suggests, okay, let's get everybody, all the passengers together so we can figure out what's going on because this could happen to us next. And we really don't know how to handle these people. Like, the medicine is out of them, but they're still, like, in the state of, like, we've been experimenting on. Like, it's tough on the body. Like, their mind is probably just like, okay, we're going to shut down for this moment so we can get our bodies under control and our bodies back in control. Because what they was with them to, to them people was, like, very, very harsh on their bodies. So... Michaela, she's, you know, walking by and she, like, touches this dude Paul's hand. And she has a vision from, like, one of the experiment victims. His name is Paul. And it's a blizzard and she hears, find her. So she's like, oh, snap. Like, it's kind of like how Cal and Marco was. Like, they was connected. They can feel each other. But, like, she, when she touched him, she had this vision. This is a new kind of, like, calling that they got going on. Now, at this point, Paul has been in a, you know, a canatotic state. Just like everybody else. And next thing you know, he's just, like, wide awake. Like, nothing even happened. But the only thing is... He suffered from some memory loss. He doesn't know his name. He didn't know he was married. He doesn't even know where he's at. So, Sammy was like, okay, why don't you touch some more people to see, like, you look like you got the gift. Like, touch some more people. Maybe they can pop up. So, she tries to touch Marco, but nothing happens. So, she's like, this is not magic. I don't know what's going on, but this is a different type of calling. Like, we didn't have, like, the vision before of, like, the statue of the woman. We've heard, they you know, fight. All that, but this was like a different type of like calling. So, Ben, he decides he's gonna pay respect for Vance. Even I still don't think Vance is dead, even though we have a funeral for him. I still do not think he is dead. I just don't. So he's like he gonna pay respects and for you know to him and hopefully you know find somebody that's there that could be responsible for his death. Until they like, you know, even though they're saying he's dead, I just, in my, I just don't think he's dead. And this journalist pops up like, okay, I seen what was going on. I know who you are. I know what, I know all this other stuff. So Ben was like, he don't really want have time for that. He don't, you know, just leave me alone because I ain't trying to go through this. You got this podcast that could hurt me and my family. But eventually. After Ben was talking to old Autumn's old low down dirty self, even though she's trying to redeem herself, I'm still mad at her. And he decides to go to the journalist. And um, and he gets the information that the major showed up an hour before the bomb blew up. Now, we don't know who the major is. 
all the martyrs saying, yeah, I did hear, you know, something about this, about the Holy Grail. And that's what led Ben there because the journalist who owned his podcast, he said something about the Holy Grail. I don't really trust dude at this time because anybody coming in talking about that there to help, I'm side eyeing like, what you got going on? Mm, I don't trust you. You seem like you too willing to help and that can put me and my family in jeopardy. Because, you know, we already got one more autumn, even though she's trying to redeem herself. Like I said, I, I don't trust him. So, Michaela and Jared, they find Paul's wife at a hotel. Now, they have been looking for her. She never showed up to get Paul from the, um, from, you know, when, when it was in contamination. So, they like, what's good? They go to her house and, like, it's like she got up there quick, fast, in a hurry. Well, it turns out Paul was very abusive, you know, before he went missing. And she thought, okay, he gone now. He's been gone for five years. I ain't got to worry about him no more. And then, bam, boom, bam, pal, he done turned back up. And, you know, they alive. So, she got out of Dodge before he can get to the house, you know, and, you know, finish her off. Once they get to the door, she got a gun ready for them. She's like, I thought y'all was here to kill me. Paul, he was a low-down dirty dog. He was beating me left, right, up, down, north, south, east, and west. Uh, uh that's what I thought y'all was here for. So, she thought she was free once the plane disappeared until they came back. So, Michaela gets another calling, and she doesn't think it's to find anybody because the calling is um she thinks it's having she thinks she's having someone else's calling because the voice isn't her own. I don't remember like I should go back if I'm doing a review like the voice sounded different, but. It wasn't the same. Like, it, this wasn't my voice that I was hearing. I think I'm having somebody else that's calling me and she's interconnected with somebody else. I don't know if it's Paul or she's connected with another passenger, but we shall see. But Vance's partner, after he decided to help Ben out, because Ben was like, what would Vance do? Vance, he was trying to help us. He was trying to take down the bad guys. Yeah, like for a good portion of the season, he was against us. But then he realized it was some, you know, some messed up stuff going on. Like, what would he do? This man just trying to come home from a long day's work, and he got scooped up by the major and all them people. And Autumn, I, she thought she was just going to throw her phone away and she was going to be done with the people that were responsible for the experiment people and just going about her merry way. She was wrong because she's sitting there getting her coffee and he was like, oh, Autumn, that's an interesting name. And she all scared, like, hold up, how you know my name? I would be that way too. But, you know... Because that happened to me one time when I was in the hospital. The Indianapolis Colts came to the hospital to visit all the children there. And, like, I had a name tag on and forgot. And they was like, hey. They was like, hey, Trisha. And I was like, how do you know my name? And then I walked off. My mom was like, you know you got your name tag on. I was like, I forgot. I mean, like, I'm, like, what, 13 at the time. And, like, some they just saying my name like they know me like that. I was a little scared. But he's like, it's on your cup. And she's like, oh, okay. He's like, you lose your phone? She's like, what? They got, you know, one of them flip phones for her. Like, look here, the major want to talk to you, boo. You threw that way that last phone. You know, you want to go to jail for real, for real? Because we can, we can arrange that for you. I'm like, girl, did you really think you was going to get away from these people? These people was up for experimenting on people. Like, to the point where they was almost dying. And you thought they were just going to let you walk away? I guess. So, Sanvi says the trial wasn't a complete failure. They were tracking, you know, relative success. They found some of the passengers who are sensitive to the callings, meaning Cal. You know, Cal, he was like, he know what was going on. He was like, even though he's like, I was just going by randomness, but he found Thomas that time. He was able to find Ben that time. Pam, um, cow that do so they was like okay we gotta make sure the major don't put two and two together and get four and find cow so that's what we gotta do and last we seen cow he laying in the bed and he's hearing the calling too like find her but like this time we see the snow we hear the find her and we see a picture of this woman who is this at first I thought it was Michaela but I was like we don't need to find Michaela because Michaela right here, his fingers was turning all blue like he's getting, you know, having frostbite and all that stuff. I was like, we can't have this happen to Cal too. Like, this just can't happen. So, that was a just. 
some more things happen. Michaela and Jerry, they end up hooking up, you know, real quick. She was like, I really don't want to do this. Why you didn't show up? He was like, I love you. I want you in my life. They end up hooking up. I don't know how this is going to help with his wife and all that stuff. Because, you know, she already, like, looking at them like, I know y'all want to be together. And if she hadn't been gone all that time, y'all would be together. And I'd just be out somewhere else. That happened. What else happened? Oh, it was like, y'all, it was on the tip of my head. Like, I be forgetting so bad. Like, literally, I just got done watching this show like 15 minutes ago. Like, got done watching it and hopped on here and then forgot a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to talk about. Apologize to y'all. Being, um, Olive, um, invites Danny over the new boyfriend because she was like, Mama said she don't know what to do with herself. I can't stand her like this. Just come over. Olive and the mama, they get into it because she's like, you a child, don't be doing this. Ben walks in like, what's well, good? Like, it's cool for him to be at the house, but I can't be there. Like, y'all wrong for that. He didn't say that, but he should have said that. I'm just paraphrasing what he should have said. But anyway, and he was like, you know what? He finally realized, you know, I thought coming back was, you know, gonna be a good thing i didn't know that it was gonna be a price to pay coming back like you know my son helping me and all this other mess going on which y'all don't understand because y'all not fearing these callings and i come back you got a whole boyfriend my daughter act like i'm a stranger she act like this new dude is the daddy like you know what maybe i should leave like i thought it was good coming back i didn't know i was gonna totally and utterly wreck y'all lives so that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you family over here, you one of my peoples, go ahead and tell your peoples to tell their peoples to come over here and be one of my peoples. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.